So in this video, I'm just going to run through the service combination calculator. So the great thing is, obviously, in the previous video, I talked about what we include when we are running the numbers, but you do not need to create a spreadsheet yourself because you get this one. So what you want to do is look at this spreadsheet, basically open it up, and there are three sections to this. So we're looking at it based on a 50% occupancy, 70% um, occupancy, and then the final one over here is a kind of free for all, do what you want with. So the first one, we look at 50% occupancy, two nights a day per booking. If it gets close to breaking even or breaking even, and whatever figure works well for you, you are good to go. Then onto the second one, 70% occupancy, which is the national average. And then over here, you change the occupancy going forward. So it's split into three kind of columns, and then below are your monthly costs for the unit. So in this scenario, I've already filled it in, basically you fill in the green sections only. Don't just touch anything in white. So in here, average unit, I've got £100 per night. If you want to change, say, £120, you do that. And then cleaning costs already populated in here. But once you start to flesh this in your area, flesh this out in your area, you can update this. So say, you know, it's going to be £20 per unit per hour. Then you update it and there, it updates to 40 So going through it, if you want to add in contingencies of 10%, you do, etc. So just going back, if I just change that to £15 with 10% contingency, you scroll down and you've got your cleaning costs, etc. in here, gets automatically populated. Your rent, so if you're looking at purchasing the properties, your rent becomes your mortgage. So to work out your mortgage, you're basically going to be taking, say, the stress test is at 6%, but you can do it at the average of what probably like 1 or 2% right now. Um, you might be even looking at 3 to 4% if it's a service accommodation, a short term let mortgage, um, slightly higher because of the extra risk to the lenders. So you add this in here. So what you do is say you're going to be borrowing £75,000. You basically divide that by um, 100 and times it by the percentage, which say 6%, 4%, and then divide that by 12 and you get your monthly um, figure. So using that example in here, if I just get my calculator up just to show you what I mean, say it's £100,000 um, property, borrowing 75%, which is 75000 You divide that by 100 to get 1%. Times that by 12, by sorry, by say 6% stress test it, that's four and a half thousand pounds per year. But you want to know what the monthly is, so you just divide that by 12, 375. You should put that in here, 375. That's if you're purchasing, but rental will be more, obviously, you pay more for rental property. So I'm just going to face back to 750, for example. Down here, you've got your total revenue, which is how much, you income, how much your incomes are, and your total cost, your outcomes. So in this scenario, you'd be making £5 at 50% occupancy, so that would be a fantastic deal. But obviously, I've just thrown some random numbers in there. But this one, again, it's all updated, so you just go through it again, making sure it matches what you've got here, and add a contingency if you want to. So here, the difference is, you've got 30 nights in a month, there's more nights occupied, and more book it so you should be bringing in more revenue and again i've not updated the figures but this one shows more so this figure you want to work out what you want to make as a minimum at 70 percent so 313 pounds in all honesty probably wouldn't be worth it because if you've got just what is essentially a buy to let property you're probably making 150 200 pounds per month for a buy to let for the extra um aggro really because short term that needs more turnover more expenses potentially a few more headaches with guests and maintenance, etc. Is it worth it for an extra £100? It's probably not. So me personally, I go for £500 minimum here. Anything above that, even better. And then on the right-hand side here is your kind of best case scenario you get to play around with. So say you're looking, okay, £120 a night. What would I get 100% occupancy with only one booking for the whole month? And you have a look at this and then you're like, Okay, fantastic. Look how much that makes 2275. It was 100% occupied with one booking for the whole month. So you can see there is a lot of potential with service accommodation to make a lot more money for what, again, is essentially a buy to let if you're just doing it for the whole property. Um, if you've got rooms, then you basically update this per, you work out the average here per a unit to the guest so say it's like averaging about 40 pounds per guest and you've got six rooms you just put that in there um, as a total and then add that up and then it updates the number here so you can get really excited about what is going on in this spreadsheet here um, so i will have a link in this video to the right download the, download this have play around with your figures as you've obviously got the information already from doing your research on the area input it in there any questions let me know